Hello. Finally Friday, yeah. So uh, just another day, another repairs. So let's start fixing something. We have few laptops. Uh, okay. Let's let me grab a laptop here. Yeah? Okay, we have a nice laptop. It's a Dell one. Give me one second. Okay, so we have a nice Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude E5250. Okay? It's a nice one. i3. Looks nice. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. So let's plug the charger and see what happens with this one. We have the charger. The charger. Uh, Let's check the charger bolts. Minus plus and the charger has 19.9 volts. So the charger is good. The charger is fine. There's nothing wrong with the charger. Plug in the charger. And the light goes off. That's not good. That's not a good sign. So I suppose this will be a short video. Okay. Because uh, shorted uh, 19 volts power rail, you know, that's the most easiest fault. And most common also. You see, this laptop is not so old, but still, we have a shorted power rail. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. We can fix this laptop. Oh, this is complicated to be opened. So, okay, screws are missing, so I suppose someone opened this already. This is the charging port here. So to get to the motherboard, I have to strip down all the whole laptop. Let's try with the power supply, 19 volts. Let's see what will happen. 19 minus. Minus is this, and plus is here. And the motherboard is taking 2.3 amps, and the voltage gets dropped to zero, near to zero. So the short is very close. Can be on the charging port, the short. Let's remove the charging port. Uh, minus here and plus here. Now it's still shorted. It. 
So you see, even on the new laptops, it happened the same, like shorted capacitors. Most likely it's a shorted cap. That's sad. It's sad because this could be like an easy job, but now it's not easy because we have to strip down the whole laptop. So it's not easy anymore. It has a crazy design. That's not fun anymore. But the nice part on the Dell laptops, do you have a light on the charger? And actually can diagnose a little bit the fault. You know, okay, you plug the charger, the light goes off. So obviously something is shorter there. Yeah. How's the hard drive? A lot of screws. You have a SIM card jacket here. That's nice. I don't understand why the screws from the fan was missing. So I suppose someone already opened this. Maybe it's not a capacitor? Do you think it's something else? Mm -hmm. Can be. Do have few ribbon cables here. This is the keyboard, this is the keyboard backlight. More screws? No? Okay, let's try and open. Or let's take out the keyboard maybe. I don't think the keyboard will, will come out. Let's see what is behind of this frame. Yeah, the keyboard is coming out. It has some screws behind of this frame. I remember this laptop like being a nice laptop. I think the screen is full HD, which has a nice picture quality. I 
not sure about the keyboard. But that's the only way to go inside, yeah? So the keyboard is not supposed to be open. We have some screws. So you have some screws even here. I don't know, this is complicated. Okay, the keyboard is out. But, there's no, yeah, it is one screw here. Okay, so the keyboard it is supposed to be taken out if you try to open the laptop. We have a few ribbon cables here. And now this bit is coming out. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Why? Yeah, we have a screw here. Yeah. That's why. Okay. So if you have this laptop, just be prepared for a nightmare to be open. So how do I take out this? Thank you. 
There is nothing holding here. What is holding here? Yeah, it's one more screw here. Behind the variable cable. Okay. So this part is out. And we have access on the... Wow, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. So I suppose this is the hard drive, which is a solid state memory. Yeah. Yeah. Probably this is expensive. So we have the 3G card. We have the Wi-Fi card. Oh no, we have the hard drive. Okay, it's a normal hard drive. So this can be a solid state hard drive. Let me check. Synaptics, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, so what do we know? We know if we plug the charger, there's something is shorted. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Let me see what. How is the connector? The connector is there. So I suppose... Okay, this, this is a bit different from what we are fixing. So here somewhere, probably it's a plus. It's, uh, it's it's the main power rail which is coming on this MOSFET. It's going out somewhere. Wait, I can't see the second one, the second MOSFET. But this is part of a power supply. Hmm. Possible we have to take the motherboard out. But let's try to find to see exactly where the the charging port plus truck is going. Let's see where it's going. So plus, plus, plus is here. Plus with the ground. Sorry, let me switch. Uh, diet. Okay. Plus with ground. It's nothing good, so we can follow the truck. Plus, yeah, it's coming on that MOSFET which I told you. Yeah, so plus is coming on this MOSFET from here. So this is our first MOSFET. The output of this MOSFET is going somewhere else, and. I don't think it's on that on this side of the board. I don't think so. Wow, these are some new capacitors. But so check here. I haven't seen this before. Or no capacitors. Kind of carbon resistors. Huh? Yeah, probably. Long ones. Nice. Okay. And our main 19 volts power rail. Let's check this cap. No, it's not short. That's weird. <laughs> Where is the short? What about here? What about here? Yeah, it is short. You can see? So you'll think these caps are short, but it's not. 
or possible, I don't know, this, this is a current sensor. These are a current sensor. These caps are not shorted to ground. What about this current sensor? It is shorted to ground? It's not. So why those caps are shorted? Okay, you know what? Let's do what we learn, yeah? You can't really do, do too much with a multimeter when you have a short. What you'll do, you'll start removing the old capacitors and you're cutting down the power rail on pieces to find exactly where is the short. more easy with the power supply 19 okay minus plus on this MOSFET yeah and it's a short 1.3 amps let me stick the ground somewhere That's not the ground. Yeah, now a thermal vision camera. Huh? That would be nice. You know, just to see exactly what is getting hot and what not. So plus here is taking 1.3 amps. Nothing here, nothing here. So what is the short? Okay, here is something warm. Oh. Really? Okay, let's try it together. Let's try it together. So we have this thing here. Yeah. Let's apply voltage. Ah, oh, nothing. Okay, maybe it's not that capacitor. What about the output? Well, something it's warm there. Let's raise the amps. Three amps. It is warm, so whatever it is, it's not on this side of the board. It's around that area, but it's on the other side of the board, yeah? But we have to take the motherboard out. I know, it's not funny. So if, so, if someone opened already this laptop, why they didn't fix it? No, a shorted cap is not something, you know. Okay. So. 
so to remove the board you have to remove a few things that's the screen connector hey Okay, the screen connector is removed, the fridge uh, card or the GSM card, GSM card is removed, let's see now. And some speakers here. One screw here, one screw here. Uh, don't tell me I have to remove the screen. Probably. We do have one, yeah, no, I have to remove the screen. Because the hinge is over the motherboard. It's a crazy design. We have to remove this. Okay. So everything is removed. So the motherboard should come out easily. Which is not happening. For some reason. So what's the reason? Yeah, the motherboard is out. Okay, same area. Yeah. And uh, let's do exactly the same thing. Petrol, a lot, a lot of petrol. Petrol is good. If you don't have petrol, alcohol will do the same thing. Let's see. Let's apply some voltage on the charging port. Yeah. Uh, does plus. I can see that MOSFET is getting hot. I can see that. You can see here. But it's not necessary. Because, uh, you know, the MOSFET is, is, is short. It can be for many reasons, you know. You have a short after the MOSFET. So let's see, we have a MOSFET on the other side. Plus is coming here. It's coming on this, yeah. It's going on this MOSFET. From this MOSFET, it's going on the other side. It's coming. This is the current sensor. 
which is going on this coil and from this coil to You know, this is not saying like in movies. <laughs> you made so many movies about, you know, some... <clears throat> following a path. But this is, uh, this is a different way. This is built different. We should be the same, you know. Let's figure it out. So we have plus here. Plus is coming here. It's coming here. Here we don't have shorter ground. We do have here from here here. No, we don't. And it's coming here on this MOSFET. From here to ground is short. It's not. And on the output of this MOSFET, which is here, here is short, is not. And the output of this one is going, I think, on the other side on that MOSFET. Let's see together. So it's going here. Oh, I don't even know which is the first MOSFET and which, which, which is the second one. Okay, let's see here. So this one, here is shorted. It's not short. After this one is shorted, it, it is short. So after this MOSFET, this, this probably this is the second one, most likely. I have a connection there. Let's see what is on the other side. Yeah, on the other side of that MOSFET, we have this track, which is coming on the on the current sensor. Okay. And after the current sensor, you remember I told you we have the main 19 volts power rail. For some reason, it's going to this coil, so probably here it's a power supply. But this is the point where it's going everywhere on the laptop. Yeah. So I'll come with 19 volts exactly there. Here. And now we can search for whatever is getting hot. It's taking 3.4 amps. Okay. Now we can check. We connect the ground. I think 3, three amps is a little bit too more. Too much. So we have a short somewhere. Something is shorted. And it's getting terrible hot. But what is shorted? Hard to say. Can be anything. Yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong for a simple reason. I was applying 19 volts here, 19 volts here. But next to these 19 volts, you have the current sensor, which is a low ohm resistor. And that resistor was getting hot because the short, it's after that current sensor, yeah? That's the reason why I feel like warm here. Obviously, if I apply, if I apply voltage on this side of the current sensor, it will get hot. He will be the first which will, he will get hot. But I'll apply after because the short is here after the current sensor. So something is shorted. And I'm not sure if it's a capacitor this time. I don't think it's shorted on this side. Oh, I need a thermal camera, you know?
I don't even have an idea what is getting hot. It's, it's nothing getting even warm. Probably on some point we will, I will have to buy a thermal camera. Okay, something is warm. A bit warm here, yeah? Let's have a look under the microscope. Well, let's see. Well, let's apply some current. So what is getting warm? The MOSFET? Because seems to be on this side of the MOSFET. Yeah. Let's try one more time. Let's raise the current. 3.2 amps. Is nothing. Hmm? Okay. Let's see on this side, because even here it's work. I just want to check those capacitors. Huh? So what do you think about that cap? The first one from this side. It's getting dry quickly. You think that's normal? One more time. You think that's normal? I don't think so. Let's remove the cap. You know, let's replace the cap. Yes, I removed the capacitor so many times, and uh, you know, some people don't like. This kind of, you know, just removing and not replacing. Yeah, we can replace the capacitor. Okay, this is a capacitor from a MacBook board. Okay. So this will be a Dell motherboard with an Apple capacitor. Well, you know, you know what's funny? The funny part is, I, I didn't found ever a shorted cap in a Mac. <laughs> you know, never. That's, that's what... This is funny, you know? Uh, let's wait to cool down and we can check if it's still short.
So we got a capacitor from same like a power supply from a MacBook board. Oh, this is like 2008 model. Give me one sec, give me one second. Yeah, so you think, okay, that's the technology, and the capacitor are uh, the weakest point, and that's why they are dying. But why they are not dying on a MacBook? That's a good question. And probably this is up to, you know, the quality of the components which you are using. But it's like in life, you know, in life, you get what you pay for. Or probably same on the laptops. Okay, let's check. 19 on the same current sensor, and it's taking like 40 milliamps, because probably the motherboard is coming on, because it's no BIOS battery. The processor is getting warm, so I suppose the, the board is working. The board just start by itself start working. Let's put the board back. Maybe we can test it. always been like that in life, you know, you get what you pay for. Same if you travel, you get a cheap hotel room, you know, and you think you make a business, you save some money, but nah, you will get what you pay for. Or buying a laptop, buying a computer, buying, I don't know, anything. Whatever you will buy. The lucky spots are only when you buy second-hand things, yeah? You know that thing is good? But you buy it, uh, like, second-hand? Yeah. That's the moment when uh, you can make a business, you know? Okay, the screen is connected, the charging port is connected, I think we can plug the charger now, and we can see, we can check. Okay, so let's plug the charger. The light is still there on the charger, yeah? But it's not coming on because I plugged the BIOS battery. Probably. Let's take out the charger, unplug the BIOS battery. Oh, but we have the power button there. Okay, let's press the power button. Plug the charger back. Press the power button. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. We still have light on the charger. I'm not sure if that's the power button. Let me check on the... Uh... Yeah, that's the power button. Hmm. Let 
Let's check the voltage. Volts minus and on our main 90 volts power rail we have 19.9 okay on the power button we have we have 3.3 we do have we have 3.1 so why is not coming on let's remove the charger remove the bus battery Okay, let's plug the charger and the laptop is coming on. It's coming on, goes off, it's coming on, but nothing on screen. Oh, yeah, it takes picture on the screen. Okay, that's interesting. So I'll unplug the laptop. I'll plug the BIOS battery back. I'll plug the charger. I'll press the power button. And it's not coming on. Why? How's the charge? Laptop is on. Let's try a different trick here. Yeah? Laptop is on. Let's plug the BIOS battery. Okay, let's power up the laptop. Power off the laptop, yeah? It's working. Power off the laptop. Laptop is off. Let's try power on now. Laptop is on. So plug the BIOS battery, you know, after the laptop is on. I don't understand why for some reason it's not coming on. If the bar's battery is plot on the beginning, first time, I mean, because now it's working fine. I can remove the charger. Let's remove the charger. Plug the charger back. Now let's try and power on. And it is coming on. Okay. Good. Let's put this back together. Screw here. We have a few screws here. Okay. One more screw here. Okay. Let's check these screws if I'm tight. And they are. We need a few more screws like this here. Oh no, not this one. This is a special one. This screw is coming from here. It has a special design, and I think it's one more, but we'll see. Okay, we have the hinge. We need two screws on the hinge. Go 
but not these ones. Like this one, yeah. And one more but a fat one like this one okay screws on the board here okay any other screw here no hmm? No one. That's all. These are coming from the top. Okay. Let's put back the top. The top one. This. Yeah. I know here we have a screw here. This one. We have few ribbon cables here. Okay. All are in keyboard. Let's put the keyboard back. Keyboard. Okay, we have few screws on the keyboard. Okay, what about this? Where this was? Hmm. Yeah, see, I missed something. Oh, 50 minutes. Can't believe this is taking too long. This is taking too long. Well, if you are bored and you have nothing to do and you are watching this video, yeah, you can. We can get bored together. Yeah. We can get bored together. The job is done anyway. So we are, what we are doing now is not really very interesting. Just putting it all back together. But that's that's part from any job. We have to put them together. Yeah, I know this bit is from here. But this one. This one. This one is from here. But this fell down when I opened the laptop. Okay. 
Yeah, I found the right position. Yeah. So this fell down because who opened the laptop before didn't put back that screw. And now I'm using a screw from keyboard, which is not white. No, that's not coming. It's not coming there. It's coming here. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. I think this bit is coming here. Like that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay. I think we can check after. Nearly the lunch time. Okay. Let's check that LEDs. This is plug. Press the power, power it's on. And no, it's not working. There's no light here. So that means that's not the right position. Okay, the right position is on the other side. I got it now. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, I got it now. Now it's good. Now it's fine. Yeah, all good now. And the uh, LED is lighting, so it's okay. This cable doesn't seem to be right there. It is, it is, okay. Now let's put the keyboard. Keyboard is okay. Let's use some screws on the keyboard.
That's good. Okay, one second. Yeah, sorry. More customers with cracked up programs and they ask for why it's not working. It's a cracked program, you know. It's dodgy, that means you didn't pay for the program. So you have to become an expert or buy the program. True or not? Well, the problem is you are not an expert. You don't want to pay for the program but you want to use my time for free to help you with a crap thing it doesn't work like that Now don't get me wrong, you know, I help people, you have a problem, you know, 
with your Discord, your VLC, your Skype, I don't know. But not when it's about you know 200 pound, 200 pound software. That's a different story. <laughs> Okay, so we are nearly done. Nearly. Not done yet. We're nearly done. We just need a few more screws. Okay, this creates a special one. This is from here. Okay. So actually the long part is not to open, is not to fix, the long part is to put all back together. <laughs> Funny. Funny. We have the fan, which has no screws. And we are dead. We have to strip down. No, we don't have to strip down. Okay. Yeah, I put the fan back. I was thinking I have to open the laptop again to put the fan. You know what I, I seen last week? And I really, really advise you to see that movie. It was so nice, so nice. Let me check online. You know Chernobyl? Chernobyl. Yeah. So the HBO made a movie. Let me see. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Okay. HBO So you really have to see this one This is sick man Was the best one seen I seen before with uh, Like the commentary But this one is sick is made by HBO, yeah, and uh, the rating is higher compared with uh, Game of Thrones, yeah. So this has like uh, 9.6, 9 9.6, and Game of Thrones is like 9.4, yeah, 9.4. So you have to see this at like five episodes, yeah. Boy, so nice, so nice, so close to the reality. So close to the reality. Even the actors, they looks like the people which they was working there. They they match. They match. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Very nice movie. Very nice movie. I see them all, all five episodes in a row. Like, what happened there? Unbelievable. Well, you know, chemistry is another passion. It's not a passion. My, my high school was uh, chemistry. I made chemistry and I was very good. I, I, I was I was getting uh, better, um, you know, the better reviews on the chemistry compared with the physics. So uh, I did like chemistry. But 
but I check I check this um, the story about the channel. Let us tell me this 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 uh, I remember about this accident. I've been like ten years old when I was ten years old. We are getting you 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 dine pills on the school each day. I think they gave us like one week or two weeks you dine pills because Romania was close to where the radioactive cloud comes. So I remember that time. So this movie brings me some memories. But I also had check. This chemistry, this is chemistry, and chemistry is a nice thing. And I check, uh, I check each incident. I, I seen the doc the documentaries, yeah, like the Fukushima one, and the other one from uh, 1979 uh, on America, from Three Mile Island, which was uh, same like Chernobyl, but it was like half melted cores, yeah. Actually, they they did prevent the. They didn't prevent anything. Yeah, they the same like on the Chernobyl. They lied the people. But them them luck was like a a valve which gets stuck and all the pressure goes out, and didn't explode. But was getting half melted. It's a nice nice thing. Nice thing, you know. I wish one day to go there and you know because that town gets stuck on time on Chernobyl the the pride path I think that's the name of the town frozen get frozen in time so let's see we need screws where here everywhere Okay. Well, nice, nice movie, nice movie. I, I really recommend uh, anyone to see that movie. And on the end of the movie, you'll just will be like. What's going on? You know, it's like I don't know. Probably you'll see the life a little bit different. I don't know, but it was was nice. It was a nice, nice movie. It was a nice movie. You'll understand the people drama. Okay, let's try to put some screws on the fan because there are no screws here. Okay. Okay. Fan is spinning, hard drive is in place. Let's put the battery. Okay, the battery is on place. Let's plug the battery. Good. Let's plug the charger. Power on.
Yeah, and has a password, a BitLock uh, password. Give me one second. Let's put the screws on the hard drive. The laptop is working, it's charging. And we need small screws. This will work, let's see. Okay, this is from here. Maybe not. Can I take that out? That's what will happen if you put the wrong screen of all. Yeah, took it out. Let's put the right one. And we have a few more screws, the hidden one. This was the one of the hidden one. And here it's another hidden one. And I think that's all, yeah? Okay, this tree is not meant to be here. Oh, that screw is not meant to be there.
And I think I will uh, I will get a lunch break. Hmm? Twelve o'clock. It's a bit too early for a lunch break. Uh, All screws are in place. Charger plugged in. On. And it's fine, you need a password, be locked after, but that's does not, does not our problem as the customer problem. Okay, so I'll stop this now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. We have one more Dell. Same Dell, yeah? Bye.